Hello there, this is Marty with Digital Design Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to create outlines on text. Or in other words, make a font into shapes. I've typed out the word digital there. I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can see what we're looking at here. Now normally in a word processor you can make the font bigger, smaller, uh, closer together, further apart, things like that. But in this case we're going to edit each individual letter. So I've got uh, the word selected here. I'm going to go up to type and I'm going to pull down to create outlines. Now you will notice one thing, they're all still grouped together. So I also need to go up to object, ungroup. It's a good little trick that can be frustrating without seeing that done. So I've got a, I've got them all separate here. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to select, should I say, all these. Let's say I just scoot them over here. You can move them much more freely like this. And get them all bumped up against each other, touching, give it, there you go. That's something that's not that easy to pull off unless these were, uh, unless this font was created in outlines. And, you know, you can even say, just want to make that guy bigger. There you go. And there's another reason you'd want to do this. If you're sending something, let's say you've made a business card or a flyer or something, and you have lots of type on it, or any type for that matter, type like this, all over the card, let's say. Um, what you need to do to send it to the printer to ensure that they're going to be able to open it without having any font issues is the same thing. Just go to type create outlines and now you can email this to somebody for printing purposes or whatever they would need to do with it they can open it and they don't have to worry about not having the font that you used on their system so that can be an issue and that can pre prevent a lot of issues and problems that uh, we run into in the graphic design world so that's how you create outlines uh, hopefully you'll subscribe and check out our blog on digital design tips dot com